everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom, and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of our favorite back to school items. It's that time of year again. We are in the middle of August and we're getting ready to go back to school. So, whether you're a homeschool mom, a teacher, or a public school mom, I'm hoping this video will give you some great ideas of things that will help you transition back into the school year. Now, this video is part of a collaboration which is being hosted by Rachel at Day to Day Joyce. She challenged us to come up with some of our favorite back to school items. And so I have a kind of a variety here. I'm looking at my table thinking there are some odd and interesting things here, but I want to share them with you because there are some really great finds. So let's get started. So like I said, I'm not even totally sure where I'm going to start, but I'm going to start down at this end and just work my way across. So one of my favorite items that I feel like every homeschooler really needs to have is a good paper cutter. Now I'm a scrapbooker, so this is the one that I have in my house. It's pretty slim, doesn't take up a lot of space, and it just goes back into my scrapbook stuff. This one is by Fiskars. You can replace the blade pretty easily. The blades are really inexpensive. The paper cutter itself is a bit of an investment, but the blades are very easy to replace and they're pretty inexpensive. It cuts really well, has the extra arm that comes out, which is helpful for me when I'm cutting things down to go into a notebook size. Sometimes I'll have construction paper that's a little bit too big. Um, I use this a lot of times for creating pockets for their folders, for if I'm cutting apart different scripture cards, if I'm cutting things apart that I have printed. It really makes my life a lot uh, easier. It's one of those things that when I first started homeschooling I thought, really? I could just pull out a pair of scissors, but this makes the job go quite a bit quicker and I really love having this. And it's great for art projects. The other thing that I really love, kind of along the same lines, is clipboards. My kids don't really like doing their schoolwork at the table. They like to be all over the house. I have one that sets up shop on the couch. I have one that likes to be in her room. I do have one that I keep at the table with me because he's still pretty little. But they like to be all over the place. And if we're going to be in the car, a clipboard is awesome. So we go pick these up at the Dollar Tree. They're super inexpensive and they actually last quite a while. I've hardly had to replace mine at all. And so we just love having them. And then if they get destroyed by some crayons and some paint, it's only a dollar and it really doesn't bother me all that much. <laughs> Another thing that I am finding is we are really enjoying studying nature right now. Um, I think it's been the time of year. We got into it this year in particular, I don't know why, but when spring rolled around, we needed to get outside. And if you guys saw my videos, we were going crazy with a plant unit and a bird unit and a bee unit. We were just loving studying nature this year. And so we've kind of grabbed onto that and we've invested into some field guides for birds, wildflowers, um, that's another bird one that we have. Butterflies. I think this one's trees. And trees. So I would say some of my favorite back to school items that I feel like are almost a must have, even if you're not a homeschooling mom, is to get some field guides for your area. There's still plenty of time to be outside in nature on the weekends, to go hiking, uh, and to really get your kids out studying plants and wildlife. These have been an absolute favorite of ours lately, and I cannot recommend this enough. Make sure you get something that's local for your area and just let your kids run with it. I was really surprised how much my kids enjoyed doing this to the point where they were encouraging me to go out and do this more than I was encouraging them. So I got two things here that are kind of similar that we are loving right now. <laughs> this one's kind of mangled because it's been in a backpack, but these extreme dot to dots. My kids get one of these every year at Christmas time. They absolutely love them. I feel like they're a great way to reinforce some math concepts, but they're a lot of fun and they're very detailed. So this is something that even I would enjoy doing. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? This one in particular is the Ocean Life. This is my youngest and that's why it's kind of mangled from being in a backpack. But we are enjoying these and it's really kind of challenged him. He's going into second grade. We've had the one to 100 dot to dots that he enjoys but he was kind of getting a little bit bored with them and so he's really loving this one and my older kids love them too. 
The other thing is these Dover coloring books. Now I knew Dover did a lot of coloring type stuff, a lot of clip art type stuff. As a scrapbooker, as a blogger, I've seen their name around quite a while, but I never connected the idea of purchasing a coloring book to go with a unit study until this past year. I picked up one of the bird coloring books that we used in our bird unit, and then I also got these. These went on sale, and I got the impression that it's an annual thing. These go on sale sometime in November around Black Friday. So I got each of the kids the National Parks coloring one, because we have been fascinated with our national parks, and like I said, really interested in our nature study lately. So this has been something that we've really been enjoying. They are very, very detailed, and it talks about each of the national parks below it. I think this would be a lot of fun if you're planning on doing like a summer vacation road trip, or if you're just studying the states. That was part of it for us too, is that we were also studying the 50 states. And so it was nice to have something like this that the kids could color while I was reading or have in the morning baskets. All right, so let's talk lunch supplies. Uh, we go to the Dollar Tree a lot and pick up containers. And my kids, when they were little, they loved the character ones. We still have quite a few of those. But as they're getting older, they want something a little bit more mature, a little bit different. And my son loves neon green. They have a lot of these neon colors. There's a blue and a purple and a red, I believe. But he loved the green. And these are very similar to the snapware. So on the sides, you've got the handles that snap in. And then they just snap off and they're good to go. So we've used their sandwich boxes. Uh, I haven't tried any of the other sizes, but we really like the sandwich boxes. I'm not sure if they are leak proof because like I said, we haven't tried the other ones, but I love that they're easy, open and close, and they're just fun colors and a dollar. Can't beat that. This is something that we have been doing in the morning. It's an oil by doTERRA. It's a focus blend. It's called Intune. And I've really noticed a difference, at least in my younger guy's focus and attention, uh, his just ability to challenge himself in the morning. Because sometimes, even when you're homeschooling, lessons can still run a little bit long, particularly in math. So we have been using this one to just help him um, get some focus in the morning. My older son uses it as well, but I've noticed the biggest difference in my little guy. That to me is a back to school favorite. Along those same lines, we also have the doTERRA uh, diffuser, and I love running this in the house. We don't get sick as often as we did when the kids were in public school, but I still find like that my uh, daughter does. She doesn't have a very good immune system. So running this with Breathe in the winter or with On Guard, or even with some sort of a focus blend during school. The other day I had citrus in it. Everybody's a little crabby. I put some citrus bliss in there and ran it throughout the house and it just took a little bit of time and everybody's mood seemed to lighten and improve a little bit. Uh, even if you're just looking for something to make your house smell warm and cozy, this is my recommendation. And last but not least is our Children's Adventure Bible. This is part of our morning basket. We've started including it instead of doing a devotional. We've just been reading straight from scripture. I love this one. There's a lot of study helps in it. This one actually belongs to my six-year-old, even though it is written for ages nine to 12. He gets it out and goes through the study helps all the time and is really enjoying this one. And I'm enjoying it reading it as a family in our mornings. We can read the scripture and then usually there's some sort of commentary or challenge question that I can read with the kids as well. And so that is one of my back to school favorites. So all those items are on our list this year. We're really getting excited for back to school and all the adventures we can be having, whether it's out in nature or just learning together. I hope this video challenges you to think outside the box of some different back to school things that you might include in your family, whether you're homeschooling or your public school mom or you're a teacher. So I hope this gives you some great ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to check the playlist down below for all the contributors and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.